Hey guys, so today's video is going to be all about makeup setting sprays. You guys have been asking me to post this video for weeks now. I know, I know, I'm so late on this. But today's video is another episode in my makeup stash series. We're gonna go through my setting sprays. I know I just recently decluttered them, if you saw that random rambles video. And I spoke about all of them briefly in that video. I got rid of a ton of them. I'm gonna give you my reviews, but I'm gonna talk about everything. Mainly the spray nozzle. I feel like that is a deal breaker for a lot of people. I know it is for me. And the spray is very important on a setting spray. So I'm gonna touch base on that and I'm also gonna show you guys like the mist on all of them, all that good stuff. So today is just makeup setting spray talk. I know that can be a little boring, but if you're like me, if anyone out there is like me and loves setting sprays, this video is for you. I can't get enough of setting sprays. Just something about a bottle and like, I don't know. I just love the whole experience of setting my face. Now, I do have a ton of them. So I wanted to break this video up in two videos. These are just the high-end setting sprays. If you wanna see a drugstore version of this video, leave a comment down below and I'll definitely do that for you guys. Now, some of these I use in different ways. Like, some of these I use strictly to set my face. Some of them I use them like skincare almost. But anyway, I'll talk about it as I go on. And if you are a setting spray collector like me, Let's get into it. So I'm gonna start off with the spray that beats all sprays. When it comes to the nozzle on this, like the mist, it has the best mist out of all of the setting sprays I'm gonna talk about. Well, there's another one that's just as good in a different way though. I'll talk about it later. <laughs> but this is the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. There are major cons to this, but holy crap, this is the best spray ever. It's an illuminating setting spray. I thought that meant it was gonna be very, very dewy and just leave your skin like looking a little wet. But this has shimmer in it. This has actual shimmer in the bottle and you definitely 1000% have to shake this up before you use it because if you do not shake this, you will have giant spots of glitter all over your face. That is not a good look. I don't love it for that reason. I don't like having little shimmers on my face. If you shake it up really well, you can avoid it a little, as long as you extend your arm out really far and you don't apply too much. But honestly, I continue to use it because the spray is just so satisfying. It's the finest mist ever. It's truly one of a kind. I love it so much. I hope they come out with like a regular setting spray because they do have a mattifying one. I hope they come out with something that's in the middle. Something that doesn't mattify you, but that doesn't make you Edward Cullen either, you know? like a happy medium. This though, this is so weird. You would think that this has the exact same spray as the illuminating one, but it does not. Which I'm sure disappointed so many people because I, I honestly, I was disappointed. I was like, yes! Finally, something without shimmer. I didn't even care that it was mattifying. I was like, I'll take it, I'll do it. But the spray on this is different. It's not bad at all. It's a good spray, but it's not as excellent and beautiful as the illuminating one. I'm not gonna lie, I've only used this like once or twice. Didn't love it, it did kind of make my skin feel a little tight, but I have very dry skin, so obviously this wouldn't suit me. This was just sent to me by Cover Effects, and I wanted to test it out anyway. It's not terrible. I think maybe if you have dry skin, but you do have an oily T-zone, this might be okay for you. But if you're extremely dry like me, I don't love it. I don't think it's the best. The Kat Von D Lock It Makeup Setting Mist is really, really good. I told you guys in that declutter video that I was gonna test it out a little bit more. And honestly, I've only tested out twice since that video. You know, having to evacuate and all. But I tried it out last night. I did a full face of makeup, set my face, and it lasted all day. I think this is a great long wearing setting spray. If you are only using a setting spray to make your makeup last all day, I think this is a really good one. And I really recommend it. The spray on this is really good as well, but it is powerful and it is long. I don't I don't know how to explain it. It just sprays very far. I don't know if you can see it. Like it just like goes. It sprays long and very intensely, like a lot of products comes out of this. So when you go to set your face, all I recommend is that you really extend your arm out. Do not use this one up close. But the mist is very fine. It doesn't leave like squirt water marks all over my face. I really like this one. I'm gonna leave the ones I don't like at all for the very end. Um, oh, and by the way, I'm not talking about priming sprays in this video either because I do feel like those are different. These are just setting sprays and like face mists. So maybe I should have spoken about primer spray, but it's just too much, it's too much. This is the OG of makeup setting sprays. I'm almost completely out of this one. This is the Scandinavia, the makeup finishing spray. It's oil free, paraben free, it's excellent. I love it. I always travel with this one because it really does lock my makeup in. Very similar to the Kat Von D one, it just sets my makeup so nicely and extends it 
all day. I don't know which one is more long wearing. I, maybe I have to test that out, but this one makes my makeup last all day. I love it. And I love this brown, this too. For being one of like the first setting sprays, at least that's what I think. The mist is really fine. I love it. It's amazing. To continue on with Scandinavia, I might as well touch base on these. This is the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray and this is the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. This one is long lasting and this one is cooling and hydrating. I love both of these. They are both made by, well, all Urban Decay setting sprays are made by Scandinavia, which means I totally love them. I think the All Nighter one does keep my makeup on all night. I kind of feel like the, skin, like the original Scandinavia one is a little bit more long wearing. That could be just me in my mind, but, but that's how I feel. And I also don't love the mist on this one as much as I love it on this one. They're very similar, but this one gets more of your face. I don't know how to explain it. This one kind of like, it's not as wide, you know? It's not terrible. I've definitely used worse. And the chill one is awesome if you have dry skin because it does feel very cooling and hydrating. If you want it to be even colder, you can like leave this in your fridge and just use it throughout the day to like refresh and hydrate your skin if you live like in Miami and it's super hot. <laughs> I don't know. But I do like this one as well. I don't use it as often as I use the all-nighter, believe it or not. But I do like how hydrating and cooling it is. And when my skin feels extra tight, I, sometimes I reach for it. Okay, so this one. I didn't know if I wanted to speak about this one today because it's just like a serum mist. This is the Pure Serum Mist infused with hyaluronic acid and onsen water. I don't know what onsen water is, but this is from the brand Skin Ink. They're a skincare brand and I love this. This is so hydrating and oh my gosh, I just, I love this spray. It makes your skin look dewy and glowing and beautiful. It looks great as like a priming spray and then it looks great as a setting spray. It just makes your skin look awesome. I also like to use this on days where I'm not wearing any makeup as kind of like a spray serum. It's amazing. The only thing is, okay, so the mist is excellent on this, but I think mine is messed up that every time, it doesn't happen all the time and it's probably not gonna happen now. Of course not, it sprays perfectly. But, okay, it's not doing it. But sometimes when I use this, it'll like, it'll click weird and then like it'll squirt like little fat droplets of water like on my face and it happens right at the bottom. So I think that's more of like a, like this bottle's issue and I'm not gonna buy a whole nother bottle just because my little thing is a little defected because this is expensive. It does come in a beautiful glass bottle. I love this packaging. This is more of like a luxury spray because it has skincare benefits in it as well. So I do think it's worth the money because of that. I did not know I was gonna love this as much as I do. This setting spray is beautiful. There's so many things I like about this. Okay, this is the Glam Glow Glow Setter Makeup Setting Spray. First of all, this smells like bubble gum like delicious, yummy vanilla bubble gum. I'm obsessed with the way this smells. It just makes me want to set my face all day because the scent is so delicious. So major points for that Glam Glow, love that. It also has a great mist. It does spray for a long time. Like look at this, like, do you see that? The, the mist is so fine and it also does it for a really long time. Like you don't have to sit there and like, it sets my makeup beautifully and I do feel like it does extend my makeup a bit. I've only used this once since my declutter video, I know. But these were the last two to test out before I had to do this video. But I feel like it did extend my makeup. Not as much as my Scandinavia one or my Kat Von D one. But I did notice a difference. And it did, it's not drying. It's not like mattifying. It gives your face like a nice glowing complexion. But it's not too dewy. It's just, it's really good. I like this one a lot. All right, so I wanna give a huge shout out to this guy because I've never mentioned it on my channel ever, but I use this all the time. I'm like halfway done with this. This is the Honest Beauty Elevated Hydration Replenishing Mist. I guess I haven't spoken about this because I keep this in my bathroom and I just forget to talk about it since it's not like here in the beauty room, but I really love this. I like it for many, many, many reasons that I like this one. This one is just very calming to the skin. Whenever I feel like, oh my gosh, I, I just, I've used too much makeup this week or if something really irritates my skin, for example, and off topic completely, but I have been trying out the YSL All Hours Foundation. Yeah. I'm extremely sensitive to that. It gave me little bumps on my face and this really helped calm it down. This has chamomile in it, which is a natural like calming product. It also has calendula. It helps calm and soothe. It has aloe vera, which is also really calming and soothing. I love anything. If you slap aloe vera on something, I'll buy it. Seriously, I'm obsessed. To condition the skin while hyaluronic acid attracts moisture, locking in hydration. It has great ingredients. I mean, Honest Beauty has really good ingredients. This is free of alcohol, parabens, phthalates, formaldehyde, PEGs, fragrances, dyes. It's awesome. It just has a very natural scent. 
but I love how soothing this is on the skin. So whenever I'm really irritated or anything like that, after I wash my face, I'll spray this on. I'll go in with skincare and all that stuff. And I use it like throughout the day to just soothe and refresh the skin. So I really love this. Oh, the spray sucks on this, by the way. It's not like a fine mist. It's a little squirty, but since I don't really use it with makeup, I don't care. All right, so if I had to just throw away all of my setting sprays and only keep five, only keep four, this would definitely be in my top four. This is the Morphe Prep and Set Makeup Setting Spray. I'm almost completely done. I have maybe like two more sprays of this. If I'm gonna be completely honest with you, I don't think there's anything fancy about the formula. I mean, I do like the formula. It leaves my skin very dewy and hydrated, but it's awesome strictly for the mist. And I will purchase it time and time again for the mist alone. This one was sent to me, but I, once I'm done with the two bottles I have, I will purchase it. I'm obsessed. It just, the continuous mist is so amazing. And it, you can just hold it down and it sets your whole face. It makes everything just oh, look so beautiful on the skin, especially if you have like a really chunky highlighter on and you want it to blend into the skin. I really, really love this setting spray. This is the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. This is my second bottle, I'm almost done with this one. I used to use this all the time as a setting spray. Like when I first discovered it, I was in love. I used it on top of my makeup all the time. But now, I don't use it that way anymore. I strictly use this as a priming spray, but I did wanna mention it because sometimes, sometimes I'll throw it on top of my makeup if my foundation looks really matte. If my makeup looks really thick, cakey, and dry, you know how, you know that feeling if you have dry skin when your foundation looks really dry? It, it looks awful. It doesn't even look like real skin. It's so gross. All you need is a few spritz of this and it transforms your skin into oily skin. It's amazing. I love this, but I would only recommend this if you have severely dry skin because it is kind of oily. It has kind of like a serum consistency and it will leave your face a little bit sticky if you apply too much, but I love it underneath my makeup. It's amazing. It's pricey, that's expensive. That's like super expensive, I know, but the packaging is so pretty. I mean, all that doesn't matter, but it's so at least it's beautiful, right? All right, next up, we have the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. I'm talking about it because it's both. It claims to be both. It has coconut water, probiotic-based ingredients, and skin revivers. It's silicone-free, alcohol-free, and oil-free. Honestly, I think this is just like a liquefied version of their Hangover RX primer. It's like, it's so similar. It's very, very hydrating. The other one is just a little more moisturizing, obviously, because it's like an actual moisturizer. But this one leaves your face so dewy, so hydrated. I love it as a primer. But as a setting spray, I don't think I love it that much. I just think it's kind of like, a, oh, okay, cool, a dewy setting spray. It doesn't make my makeup last any longer, but it's not super like, wow, dewy. So it's kind of like, a, it's just, I don't know. I don't love it as a setting spray. A little like, it's just, it's all right, you know? It's not here nor there, so I don't, I don't use it like that at all. But I keep it because I do like it as a primer. And the spray isn't terrible. I wish it was a little better, but I mean, I've seen worse. It's not bad. All right, and now I have four setting sprays I really did not like. I have a few that are like, eh, to me, so those I don't really care to talk about, but these, I just, I, I don't like them. This one I thought I liked, but turns out I don't. <laughs> That'd be happening to me sometimes. <laughs> this is from a brand called Pretty Vulgar, and this is their Lock It In Permanent Bitch Face Setting Spray. The packaging is what sold me on this product. It's the reason I bought it. It's so pretty. I mean, this is nothing, but it's just it just looks like a, a perfume bottle. I love it. I freaking hate this thing, okay? <laughs> this leaks everywhere. I'm not sure if you can tell, but it's awful, and I don't even like store it on its side. It stays standing up, but it leaks like there's no tomorrow. Total packaging fail. I don't know if it's just mine, but it's such a mess. It makes me not even want to use it because everything is just like so sticky and weird. The formula is also pretty sticky and not like in a beautiful dewy way and like a, oh, I don't like this tacky feeling way. I don't know. I don't love it. I thought I did, but I used it with foundations that I truly love, like die hard, holy grail foundations. And it just looked weird. I don't know. It works with some foundations, but it doesn't work with others. And I just, I'm going to get rid of this. I don't like this. I mean, you know, I'm going to get rid of it. I already decluttered it. Well, if you saw my declutter video, but you know, the spray on this also sucks. It like squirts out little thing. I just don't like it. This is the Milk Makeup Blur Spray. I love milk makeup. They have such cool, unique things, but this blur spray, no. And I most likely don't like it because it is a mattifying setting spray. This is the Invisible Matte Makeup Setting Spray. It's supposed to give you like a soft focus blur effect. You're supposed to shake it up really well. I just, I don't like this. It makes my skin feel really tight. 
like really weirdly tight. I don't know if it's just my skin type. I don't know what it is, but I don't like it. I also don't love the spray. It's nice, but I feel like the, the, the droplets are kind of big and it just, it's not a fine mist. That's the thing. It's a nice mist, but it's not a fine mist, you know? This is the Marc Jacobs Recover Perfecting Coconut Setting Mist. And I don't like this just for, I have a little bottle, <laughs> but I don't like this. This leaves like giant oily drops all over my face. And it looks like a super fine mist. Like it really, really does. But I don't know what it is about it that it just, it looks weird and it breaks up my makeup. I don't know if it's like the coconut, if there's coconut oil in this or something. It starts to make it like separate on the skin. I don't really like the setting spray. I don't like the spray or the actual formula. As a setting spray, it just doesn't work for me. I would prefer the Tatcha one over this. This one breaks up my makeup while the Tatcha one doesn't. It's so weird. And I like it as like a primer, but since I don't like the spray, it's just not worth it for me in general. I also don't like the scent of this. It's like really strong. I, I don't know, and as I'm spraying it on my face, I like don't like it. I feel like I'm like suffocating on the sun. Mm, <laughs> not a fan. And then the last one I don't like is the Tarte Ready Set Radiant Skin Mist. It's not that I hate this product. It's, it's just that it does nothing for me. The spray is like short and quick and just like squirty. It's weird. It's a little fine, but I just, it's not my favorite. And the formula is just, it kind of like wets your face and then it doesn't really do anything. I just, I, there's no room for this in my collection, I guess. It's kind of like boring, you know? Doesn't do much, so I'm going to pass that along. Okay, guys, so that completes this video. These were all my high-end setting sprays and my thoughts on the nozzle and the spray, the mist. To me, it's the most important thing. Let me know what you guys think down below and if there's a high-end setting spray you have that I haven't spoken about today or ever that I haven't tried, leave it down below. I would love to test it out. I love testing out setting sprays. Leave me your favorites down below if I haven't tried them. But yeah, let me know if you want to see that drugstore video. That completes this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye.